Hello my friends, today I will explain a thriller and a drama movie called What the Paper Saw, the story of a young man who loves his stepmother, but her reaction at the end of the movie is shocking, and the beginning with Sarah, when she sits in the bathtub, and then she gets electrocuted by water, and dies, and then we see Alice, Paul's new wife whom he married after the death of his wife Sarah, in order to pay attention to his son Marcus, because Paul travels a lot, and when Alice gets home, she is very comfortable, and opens the refrigerator, and then Alice saw Marcus, as a very annoying child, telling her that he had taken the money from his father and gave them to the taxi to pick her up from the airport. Next, Alex was preparing breakfast for her and Marcus, and they talk to each other, and he asks her what she wants him to call her, and she answers, call me Alice. Then he asks her about her age, and she answers, 22 years old, and tells her that he is 12 years old, and looks at her with a strange look. Alice does not like it. And when Marcus is in the bathtub, Alice enters inside and gives him the phone to talk to his father who asks him about Alice. And they talk a little and then Alice takes the phone from him and talks to Paul and Marcus tries to touch her body. And Alice gets nervous about this behavior and immediately closes the phone and gets out of the bathroom. And the next day, Alice calls out to Marcus who plays outside to have breakfast. And we see that the postman has brought them letters. And Marcus takes a message from him and hides it. And when Alice asks him about that message, he answers that it's a regular message from school. And then he jumps into the pool. And Alice asks him about his friends and tells her that he doesn't have a lot of friends. And she asks him again about that message. And Marcus gets annoyed with it and tells her that he told her it's a normal message. And she tries to smile at him and have fun together. And then we see that Paul has returned from France and sees Alice at Marcus at the airport. And Paul rejoices a lot when he sees them. And Alice takes him to home in her car. And when they get home, she takes Paul so that they can have fun moments and make ice cream dream with each other. Marcus plays by the ball and Alice watches him and asks Paul about him and his friends. And Paul tells her that Marcus has a lot of friends, but he loves to stay alone. Paul tells them that he will invite them to dinner at a Chinese restaurant because Marcus loves this restaurant. And Paul asks Alice if she took the money from the closet. She answers that Marcus took them to pay for the taxi, but she is surprised when Marcus denies it. They fight together and yells at each other. Paul tells them that it is not important and maybe the maid has stolen them but Alice gets angry with him and tells him that the maid is very honest and cannot do it. And when they return home, Alice is looking for money in the Marcus's room but she does not find them and she finds the message that Marcus hid but it is torn and Alice tries to fix it to find out what was written inside. Then they go out to the pool, and Paul plays with Marcus, and here Marcus tells him that he feels that Alice doesn't like him, that she is looking for money in his room. Paul goes to her and finds her asleep, and when she wakes up, she enters the kitchen, and Paul follows her, and they leave romantic moments together, and make ice cream a dream. Marcus in the pool, and imagines his mother Sarah drowning, and the next day, Alice goes to Marcus's school and talks to the manager and he tells her that they expelled Marcus from the school because his behavior is very bad and he does horrible behaviors like drawing some people naked and also killing a cat and the manager telling her that they sent a message to his father but he didn't come and that's the message that Marcus tore apart and also tells her that Marcus is a crazy and should be treated by a psychiatrist. At night, Paul takes Alice to a party in the house lady named Sophie, and when they come home, Alice is upset with him, because he didn't tell her about Sophie. Alice asks him about Sarah's death, and he answers that she had a heart attack and slept when she was in the bathroom and died. And at night, Paul tells Alice that he found the money behind his desk, and Alice answers him that Marcus has brought them back to their place. Then Alice tells him that she saw his school manager today. That tells her.
They kicked out Marcus of the school because of his behavior. But Paul is very calm and tells her that he is still a small child and should not be punished. And Alice does not like this response and tells him that he should be punished a lot. And then Paul gets angry with her and tells her that she does not like Marcus and that she searches in his room to get him into trouble and Alice gets upset with him and tells him she tries to help his son and at night while they are in bed Paul tells her that Marcus saw Sarah when she was dying and so he is suffering a lot and the next day Alice goes down to the basement of the house and sees many things for Sarah and then goes to Marcus and tells him that his father has traveled a second time and asks him if he wants to go out together but he refuses and tells her that he wants to stay at home and when she asks him about the things she found he tells her that these things are not for his mother and he asks her if she knows anything about Sarah's death and Alice thinks she died of a heart attack as Paul told her and she asks him about her death and he tells her ask your husband and don't ask me and Alice goes to visit Sophie and they go together to visit Sarah's grave and when Alice asks her about Sarah's death Sophie answers her that Paul and Marcus don't like to talk about her death and then she tells her that years ago on Marcus birthday Sarah went to take a shower but she was electrocuted and died immediately Alice goes home and fights with Paul because he lied to her and didn't tell her the truth about what happened and Paul gets upset with Alice and ignores her and Marcus rejoices in that one day Alice wakes up in the morning and starts drinking a lot and listens to Marcus talking about his mother Sarah and tries to talk to Paul but he ignores her and throws her on the ground Paul prepares to travel again and Alice asks him to take him to the airport and he answers her that she shouldn't drive while she is in this situation Alice cries a lot and when she's in her bed Alice notices that there's a hole up there and goes up to discover the secret of that hole and discovers that Marcus is watching them from the hall. Alice goes down to Marcus to scold him badly but tells her that he likes to watch them to entertain himself and also use it to watch Sarah from the same place. But she is more beautiful than Sarah. Alex asks him again about Sarah's death and tells her that he will tell her if she takes off her clothes and suddenly she agrees and starts taking off her clothes but Marcus deceives her and tells her nothing and when Paul returns from his travels Alice takes him to see that hole but she is surprised the hole does not exist and Paul gets angry with her and tells her that he is bored of her talking about Marcus and that she needs a psychiatrist and he will travel to Madrid the next day Marcus goes to Alice when she cares the trees but ignores him completely until he tells her that he is the reason of Sarah's death and at night Alice wakes up from sleep to tell Paul that Marcus is the reason of Sarah's death and in the morning Paul sees a dog killed in the pole and knows that Marcus did it Alice goes to a psychiatrist and tells her everything that happens to her but the doctor doesn't believe her because Marcus is still a child at night Alice feels that she is almost crazy and tries to kill Marcus but Paul grabs her and gives her a sedative needle and they take her to a mental hospital and there is Alice imagining that she is killing Marcus in order to get rid of him two months later Alice comes out of the hospital and Paul receives her outside with a bouquet of flowers and takes her to see Marcos playing with his new dog and Alice goes with Marcos to walk around the forest alone and Marcos tell her that he doesn't hate her in order he loves her very much and also asks her to be with him instead of Paul because Paul has become older Alice smiles at him and tells him that they should kill Paul and she kisses Marcus tells him not to tell his father a moment later Alice takes the dog's toy 
from him and throws it into the street while crossing a speeding car and Marcus runs quickly behind the dog and the car hits him and he dies and Alice rejoices a lot and the film ends here don't forget to press like and subscribe for the video and check out my other videos goodbye my friends see ya Thank you.